Monster out of the way. Right, off to Battlefield. The most melee stage in Melee. Nair is a really great option Wait, in this matchup because it's You're telling me that other stages exist? <laughs> <laughs> you can see Nips using a lot of this short hop Nair in this matchup, and that's really. Wow. What? Uh, misses the second meteor cancel. The power of Nair in this matchup, it, it serves a similar purpose to Mark's forward air in this matchup for Mark, where it, it's really great at jousting in the air. It beats a lot of the, the aerial options that Fox is going to approach with. So you can just sort of throw it out to gain space. Nairs are going to keep him up, and the down smash, took a down smash, sends him all the way down. Yeah. <laughs> Fox be like, look at my toes. Whoa. That's speaking that's of toes. That's gonzo. And a full stock up for Nix. Although, we might be putting down some serious damage in response. Both players just kind of feeling each other out in the neutral. In an early game like this, there's room for error. And speaking of error, a huge punish from McNutty. Punishes the roll with a shine at his shield. And we're back to neutral again. But not for a moment longer. Wow. Oh! Whoa. oh. That was incredible. I didn't think he'd come back. The frame perfect up to make sure that he comes oh, back. Oh, the drift the away. Super solid play from Nips. He's not going to go down so easily as you might think. Solid use of the shine to turn himself around. Secure that back air. Gets a little low, but still manages to come back. Fox's up B is just so... Had to cover so much distance. Fox up B is best up B. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty dang good. I mean, except for when you're trying to start it. That's different. It's the, the number one weakness. Nips getting stuck on that wow. Ooh, Chain throws. <laughs> Solid punishes from McNutty. Down throw L cancel the grab? He's alive. Just barely. Up smash doesn't kill off the top, even from top platform of Battlefield. You know what? I think I'm rooting for Nips. Whoa. Looks for a hard read, but doesn't quite connect. And there goes oh. the stock. All right, that's one, though. That is I, only one I feel one like game. Nips has him. You can tell with a lot of the positioning and a lot of the reads that Nips is going for, you can tell that he's really starting to feel out McNutty's play style towards the end of game one. As we move into game two, you can expect to see a lot more of that he might um, have panning him. out. Yeah, he might just. Ooh. Oh, shit. Solid. Okay. he got tech skill. The wave shot it off stage. Good move oh. from McNutty, but it's going to cost him a lot as he makes his way all the way out to the blast zone. And a hold leg Yo. secures the stock for Nips. Solid combo, but he doesn't quite man. Oh, he Oh, he got too greedy. But the tech skill on display here for McNutty is very that impressive. Was stuff. He's moonwalking and shit. Look at this. This is what 20XX looks like, people. Get a good look. This is what 20XX looks like. Everybody be playing like Mango out here. Straight up. Great turnaround using the shine to stall. Ooh, doesn't quite find the up smash he's looking for. <laughs> good old rapid jabs. And there's up smash. Oh, we got multi shines. We got multi shines. We got wave shines. Let's see some ledge dashing next. And it's 20XX for sure. Oh, great wave land to secure the combo. We get a simple tech chase. Back air puts him off stage. Tournament winner goes unpunished, but we still manage to secure the stock on the other side of the stage. Oh, ledge cancel just to show off a little bit. Real shine. This is the real dangerous thing for Falcon is once you end up off stage against Fox, you end up playing a lot of the game, just trying to recover, trying to get back to ledge. And it gets to be really dangerous. Oh, 
Okay. But then again, last stock situation, one good read, one good grab. Falcon oh. can always win this. Great recognition going straight to the ledge. It doesn't quite pay off, but you have to respect the, the decision making from Nix there. Moving into game three, there's adjustments that both players know they need to be making. There's a lot of um, changes to the game plan here. But Nutty, you can tell, is definitely going for blood. Looking for the tech chase, but he doesn't quite find it. Back air is going to send him off. And a rough angle. Doesn't have Firefox notches on that controller. So it's going to be tough to find that steep angle. Up tilts, just securing some damage. Ooh, not quite lethal. Again, Nip surviving the top platform up smash. Fantastic DI. These grabs are really putting in work for McNutty. And up smash is going to kill on the second try. I just heard like 20 Samus grabs. <laughs> oh, there's the one. There's the shine. And it's another stock for Nutty. Game three situation. This is tournament stock. After one more stock, Nips is in serious trouble. <sighs> Goes for the big read with the side B, but doesn't quite find it. Jousting oh, so with that close. It's, it's very close. Solid catch, and he catches the DI out with a short hop forward. Nip's just trying to find ways to avoid this pressure at this point. Just trying to find options that can give him some room to breathe. Tech chase here. And the re-grab after the recovery. Back hit of up smash is going to send him at the exact wrong angle, and a ledge hog puts him now on tournament stock against McNutty. Well, very low angle from the up B. But a good recovery from Nutty makes sure that it doesn't go anywhere dangerous. No tail! The missed tech. Nips is so good at punishing those missed techs. Solid tech chase, and we're at pretty even percents here. At gentlemen, this gentlemen, up air. He's just pushing him as far away from center stage as possible. Just trying to keep control of that middle section of the stage. Back air is going to send him off because this is what happens when you lose control of the center stage as Falcon. You just end up way too far out. Oh. Back air. He's not quite done yet. Looks for the grab, but doesn't quite find it. Great chase on the oh. wall. Chillin' dude doesn't quite connect. Instead, we're just trying to find that punish in the neutral, and a stray nair closes it out. 3-0 finish for McNutty. Crazy. Yeah, after watching, day to see it. After watching such a dominant performance from Nips in the previous game, watching him get dismantled so quickly oh. was really incredible. It gives you an idea of what sort of player McNutty is, that he's able to pull off those sorts of punishes, even against a player like Nips.